What's up everybody, it's Matt from Peter Glenn, and in this video I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite Capita boards from the demo for 2425. Let's check this out. All right, so out of all the boards that I demoed from Capita for 2425, I'll have to say there was two that really, really stuck out. And first off is the Megadeth. I was super excited to try this thing last year when it came out, but unfortunately they didn't have a demo in it. So this year, first thing I did when I got to the demo, I went to the Capita tent. I grabbed this with a set of Falcors and this was my first run of the entire demo. And I'll tell you, I was not disappointed at all. It is crazy, crazy fast super, super lively. It's everything I expected it to be, but surprisingly, I thought it was gonna be a little bit less predictable than it was. It had a crazy quick feel in and out of your turns. It dug like a super, super stiff board, even though it's not a really, really stiff board in general, but having that full carbon layup, this thing pushed back like a board that was a 10 out of 10 stiffness. In and out of your turns, it felt like this thing was jumping from edge to edge, but it didn't feel like it was out of control. Those first few runs of the day, the snow was very, very firm and this board held an edge no matter where I went, no matter how fast I went. And the one thing that I was kind of bummed about is that I had to go demo more boards because I just wanted to go out and go fast and get Ricky Bobby on this thing. All right, and the second board that I was really, really pumped on was the Capita Outer Space Living. So this is a little bit more of an all mountain, go anywhere, do anything type board, but it definitely has a softer, easier feel. And on the third day of the demo, I took this thing out, I took it for a few runs, and with the conditions being a little bit softer and a little bit slushier, I was actually very, very impressed to take this thing into the park. With the camber and the rocker and the nose and tail, it really plowed through the slush better than a lot of the boards I rode over the those few days. And I have to say too, for as soft and as easy feeling as it was, it had a lot more spring and pop than I was expecting. Also the stability on it, it was actually hitting a jump that was a little bit bigger than a jump that I've hit in a long time. And every time I landed, I didn't feel like it was gonna wash out on me at all. And to really tell you how much I love this thing, on that third day when I got through my list of boards that we needed to demo, and we had a little bit of extra time towards the end of the day, we were gonna go back for super, super slushy park laps. It was 55 degrees, and guess what board I went back to get to finish out the day. All right, so obviously Capita has a ton of great boards and they all ride phenomenal. It just happened to be that for this demo for 2425, those are the two that stood out. But if you got any questions about these or any of the other Capita boards that we have at peterglenn.com, definitely leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We wanna make sure we can get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we wanna make sure it's actually gonna fit you and it's gonna fit your specific riding style. Also make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely get that notification bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. And head on over to peterglenn.com, grab yourself a new capita board and get out and ride. Because any day riding is a good day riding. <laughs>